episode of Cooking with Kenny and Kyle. Today we're making a Quibble Fudge cream cake. With Barbara Case. Barbara is joining us to be our special guest cook, and she has a special present she wants to give Kenny and I. Yes, I do. I have two wonderful things here. I was so mm. impressed by the show. I want to make this one. Oh my goodness. Chef Kenny has a nice ring to it. I like it. And who else do I have? Oh, Kyle. I'm Kyle. almost your. I'm almost your equal. <laughs> Thank you, very, very almost, much. Almost. We appreciate oh, it, Barbara. It's oh, very, you're very I welcome. I like it. It's slimming. It is. Mm, wonderful. Okay, so shall we get to it, Ken? All right. Do you want to tell about the Bible a little bit before we get into the, the actual cake we're going to be making today? Well, this is a copy of a, of a book that my, used, used to belong to my brother Tony, Betty Crocker's New Boys and Girls Cookbook. His copy, uh, he won in a stride bake for making a tuna casserole back in 19, June 14, 1973, when I was five to six years old living in Brockton, Massachusetts. And I ordered mine from Amazon. <laughs> this one's from Amazon. Yes, that's the one. Yes. Well, I have an exact copy of this book, but it's much older than this one. Well, it's the same exact year, but mine's in better condition. Obviously. Yes. Anyway, so uh, tell us about the cake that we're making today, Barbara. Well, it's Kenny's recipe from the book. Let's see. It is a chocolate cake, and we're going to be making the cocoa fudge cake. Yeah, well, I had hoped to make the cocoa fudge cream cake, you know. It's a, it's a layer cake with four layers, you know, and cream filling, you know. I was hoping to do that. I had my heart set on, the, on it the whole time, but I yeah. can settle for a different cake today for a change. I like that. You're, 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 well, you're, you're wearing so your flexible. disappointment well. I'm very honest. You're you so are. flexible. This is going to be delicious. The wonderful thing about this recipe, after reading it, is that you do it all in one bowl. <gasps> one bowl? Say it ain't so, Barbara. Unbelievable. <laughs> so where do we start? Good question. <laughs> I guess we start with the uh, one bowl. A size of a bowl. Right here. Okay. We just need the ingredients. Okay. What do we need, Ken? Flour. 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 Okay, I'll let you need sugar, cocoa, salt, short short butter, This is the sugar. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. This is how we roll here. Cooking in I'm very proud of my brother's cook, but you know, that's crazy about all the recipes that they like. That's a 30 Wonderful. Cocoa. Cocoa? That was my nickname during the war. Yeah. One right. and two third cups yeah. of flour. Let's see. So. This would be a great recipe, I'll show you. This is even frosting. Yep, and we will frost it. Exactly. Remember, um, um, the, what was the guy's name from um, Canyon Bass with you? I'm Mr. Snow Miser. Good thing we washed our hands uh, first. Yeah. Was the, the year without a Santa Claus. Yeah. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. I was the name of Snow. Oh, so Snow Miser referred to himself as. Right? And then there was Heat Miser. See, he was just a green Christmas and Mr. Sun. The year without a Santa Claus. I'm getting such an education. And I got to see a live action version of, the, of that classic, you know. They did? Yeah, they did make a live action version with the. Why? Tommy Firestein is Michael McKeon. As he minds, but Michael McKeon is Snow Miser. He plays Letty of Letty and Spitty on the Vernon Shirley. Oh my Shirley. goodness, are you And he was also David St. Hubble's a Spinal Tap. Wow. Wow. He's a very vibrant and varied career. Yeah. Not unlike yourself. Indeed, a fine actor. Yes, your star. Yeah, well, Dave St. Thomas, he spoke with an English accent and he had long blonde hair. 
He was a rock guitar player and singer, you know, for the band Spiral Town. I'm just trying to level this a bit. So we like, we were, like our Coco level. The other guy, two guys were Harry Shearer and sure we'll his bass player Derek Small. We'll and okay. the guitarist Don Kentucky, and played by Christopher Guest. Baking soda? Baking soda? Yes, ma'am. Here's some. <coughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Just enough. This level. Just enough, but not too much. Exactly. Precisely, ma'am. He's so, so well behaved. I'm Peter from Tiny and Sons Glass. We're certified and qualified to handle all your auto glass replacement and repair needs. We handle all makes and models. We travel the entire South Shore. Now back to Kenny and Kyle, starring Barbara Case. Referee. He had, he had just defeated Mike Tyson to become the new heavyweight champion of the world. And yeah, he was supposed to be refereeing his, putting refereeing for the magic of, of Hulk Hogan and defending the WWE Championship against Macho Man King Randy Savage. That was back when it was still the World Wrestling Federation before it became World Entertainment. We had Hulk Hogan long before we had John Cena. And Jay puts a dozen for me to joke, you know. And, we're, we're, trying go up. we're trying to make cake here, Kenny. It's okay. But the joke is, he said that we're going to go out drinking to meet the Oakland. And he said drinking buttermilk. Oh. That's the joke. That's hilarious. Oh. That's the joke. We should go down down and save it for when we really need a good laugh. Um, you need a half a cup of soft shortening. I'm mixing this together because it's fine. See, I'm having all the fun. He loves to mix. I do, I'm a mixer. Obviously. What's after this? After what the is after thing? The um, one and a half cups of buttermilk. Did that. Two spoon of vanilla. Oh, one else? Okay. Two one teaspoon of vanilla. And a couple of eggs. Well, not yet. I didn't think so. We should wait for my eggs. Right here. Oh, perfect. And the vanilla bearer. Brand spanking new. I know. Just like Kate's real buttermilk from go. Stop and Show. Nice bottle. Thank you. I didn't see you pour it in. I did. I oh, I didn't. No, it's right here. See what I mean? You want to get a half of water? Allow me. Please do. What grace? What style? Mmm. I've never seen anyone pour buttermilk more alluring. That is perfect. Than like a professional chef, I guess it's I know, it must be the, the apron that does it. We use two of these. That'll make one whole teaspoon. Today in my work center in, in, in Hanson, called, also called the Wyndham Village, we made oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. Yeah. And we used it at the work center. Oh. They're right there. I only had one, though. I only had one. That's really? really? That's so you had one for cake? Yes, you knew you were going to have cake. Well, I just had my dinner, so I need room for so it. So there's a... So there's the catchphrase I see in the puzzle of Wheel of Fortune. Leave Absolutely. room for dessert. That's always lame. And spatula it. You'll be okay. okay. I think if you just mix it a bit. Well, there we go. Fine. He's kidding it. You love your spatula. I love spatula. I well, so the SpongeBob SquarePants. You like spatulas? Yeah, not like that. I, well, this the is kind of for flipping crammy patties, which is what we call hamburgers. Did you want yeah. to make a sandwich, you know. Uh, one wonders how many. The patties turn out to be like cheaper. One wonders how, how Kenny can fit all of these shows he watches in a day. He watches them all in a day? Well, over yeah, the well, most of phases. Well, I, I asked two questions that are for Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants, you know, asking the. Uh, what was it like working with David Hasselhoff with the SpongeBob SquarePants movie? And how was his job going at the Krusty Krab? And mm. mm. what did he say? Magic. It's going quite well, I'd say. Something like that. And I don't really remember what he said. We'll begin to grease this pan. Oh, allow me. And you can hold the spatula. And tell Kenny what to do with, um, you can tell Kenny what to do with this. I don't even know what you call that. What? Batter? Batter. Cake <coughs> batter. Okay. So here we have our little homemade mint. I love that. Kenny thought it was so funny. 
<laughs> ridiculous. It's, a, it's, it's ridiculous. I know. Well, it's I not just funny, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. You can't use a regular oven mitt on short things. No, no, well, you, you could. could. Never. Never. You need a glove is what you need. You need well, the plastic so glove. get what did we do? We improvised because in, uh, in cooking with Kenny Crowley always. You took the words right out of my dough. mouth. You roll with the dough. You took the words right out of my roll mouth. Roll with the dough. Yeah, mind. that's our little mind. We have a couple of catchphrases. Every now and then Tim tries to steal them. Right. Right. Like he was with us for making tea for the last time. He was. Nice. We called it Pizza Palooza. Yes, I saw that. This and I have the three DVDs of us doing Pogoda and Macaroni Cheese, Chanjo Cookies, and Pizza. You know, we'll have to release a box set come Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, we'll have this cake making recipe. This cake making episode for, for DVD sometime. We're doing a little shaking. I thought you were making music. Well, yeah, well, I could. This is about as good as I get with music, yeah. other than listening to it. We're not very instrumental. Well, yeah, well, I have records and cassettes and compact discs, videotapes and DVDs. That's oh. incredible. How many do you think you have there? Quite a lot. You have a lot? That several is records I have and several cassettes and compact discs. Love. I'm just never satisfied. I want to want right. more and more. Okay. So how's that working, Kenny? I have records that belong to my brother Tony as well as my own from the 70s and 60s, 70s and 80s. You know, Beatles, How does that look? Beatles album. It looks pretty good. It does look good. Magnificent I did, job. I did it's my best. Bachelor. We have to give the little scrape here. Yeah. That's that good better and sinewy if yeah. ever I've seen it. I have seen a lot of batter in my day, and that batter is sinewy. Which means? Look at it. it it's smooth and delicious. And creamy. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Delightful. One almost wants to lick the bowl. This one. So now, exactly. Now we need That's two it. eggs. You read my mind. Two eggs? Mm -hmm. Why not those? Eggland's eggs are best, they say. I'm Will of Fortune. Well, we're using those well, today. We'll see how they compare. So one thing I like to do, I like to crack an egg in a separate container so we don't get shells. Well, you're oh. doing it in the, the, the measuring cup. Allow me to take the uh, shell off your hands. I'm going to name it Shelly. One. Well, how about Sheldon? I'll name the other one Sheldon. And they'll, Sheldon, be, Sheldon. And they'll be my best friends. Okay. Oh, please. Give it a mix. You're at. You're, you're at it, mister. Go for it. And then you have it Kennyed. <laughs> Why am I holding Sheldon and Shelly so cavalierly? Put them in here. Oh, thank you. Goodbye, you know, Sheldon. Put them over here. Okay, I'm yes. Save them for later. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Oh my goodness. Yes, we're getting we're rough You are doing with an the, excellent job. We're, with the rough, egg. we're rough housing with the bag. Excellent mix. And the eggs. It's okay. I think to you've done this before. You've got to be rough and ready. Yeah, that's us. <laughs> As you can tell by our spell, gorgeous. We're prepared for this. How magnificent your aprons look on you. I know, don't we look gorgeous? I do want to get a picture of it. I know, really. We should. You know, someone should take a video of it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Can you tie this for me? It's what I live for, Kenny. Yep. Now suck it in, suck it in. I'm just like Scarlet no. O'Hara. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never even seen Gone with the Wind. Wow, oh, I can't believe it. I prefer that. The Wizard of Oz. Frankly, Scarlet. They're very, well, they're well, very different movies. Yeah, but The Wizard of Oz is one of the most beloved films of all time. I know, and you were in the play, as was I. The film one. Is it time for it to do a little more? Academy Awards, you know. Okay. The awards are lovely. Best Doesn't song over the rainbow. Look at that. She she's doing the finishing touch and she's gonna take all the credit. Okay. On it. Absolutely not. Okay, Here, tell us what we do. Pour it in the pan. Okay. Ready, Kenny? And then guess what we do. What? Cook it. We panic. Oh. Oh, Kyle. I know. Please. I am completely out of control. 
Okay, ooh, a spatula. Your fish. I love a good spatula. <laughs> Obviously. I'm crazy for spatulas. You know, SpongeBob SquarePants is crazy about Krabby Patties. I bet. You know, it always sounds like you're saying something else when you say that, I mean, but I'm not going to say what. I know it would upset you. Like what? No, I'm not going to say it. That's Don't keep concept. me in suspense. I can take it. Well, no, it just, it just, it comes out really quickly, and I think that's the point of their, the whole point of their um, naming it a Krabby Patty, because you could easily slip and say something else. Yeah, well, uh, we call it a cheeseburger. You call it a labyrinth. We call it a maze. Well, Labyrinth was a movie, you know. It was. By Jim Henson. And I'll leave just enough in the bowl to make it worth living. He also made so the, Abbott, the Muppet movie. Doesn't that taste excellent? Oh, my the God. Great, the Great Muppet Caper and Muppet's Take Manhattan and The Dark mm. Person. This is a great Sesame, recipe, Kenny. Kenny. Make Sesame Street presents all Kenny, that Kenny, Kenny, Let, let's get back onto the topic of the cake. Yes, sir. Look at this. You did a great job. I know. Look, there's a bowl. You did an awesome job. Taste a little bit. Don't mind if I do. Be ready to go into chocolate nirvana. Mm. Excellent. Oh, now. Now, I don't want to throw anyone here or, or what do you call it? Throw the screw, curve. Screw the surprise up or anything. But the cake that's going in is going to look different than the one that's coming out. But we're Actually, we're magical. Yeah. I'm right. Quite honest. That's what I meant. To be quite honest. So this is going in the oven. Is oh, I see. It's the best Yes, it goes into a 350 degree oven for. Now you said 40 minutes was. Too I put long. it in for 35 and then check it. Okay, so 35 minutes and then um, when you pull it out, uh, you will have a delicious cake. And now we're going to make the frosting. As you can see, the cake is done. They're making, getting ready to make the frosting. After the mess is ready to be cleaned up, use our Tiny and Sons window cleaner. Every windshield replacement that we do, you get a free can of glass cleaner. Tiny and Sons Glass, where customer service is a family tradition. Now back to cooking with Kenny and Kyle, starring Barbara Case. Do you want to pull a magic cake out of there? So, <laughs> I happen to have. It just so happens. Oh, wow. Well, that indeed. It's a masterpiece. Okay. Beautiful cake. What what the a masterpiece is magnum opus. Mm -hmm. I learned so, that from Charles we Webb. To make our frosting. Yes. There's okay. a recipe for quick fudge frosting right here. Now, when you do the when you make Excuse quick fudge fudge frosting, you have to read it really fast. <laughs> I don't know. I think you're right, Kyle. Yeah. I think so. Okay, so then I hope everyone got that. No, um, with the uh, quick fudge frosting, we're going to mix in a saucepan one cup of sugar and uh, one quarter cup of cocoa. Then you're going to stir in a quarter cup of butter and a half a cup of milk, two tablespoons of light corn syrup, which was easier to find than I thought it would be. And then you're going to bring it to a boil for three minutes, stirring occasionally. You know, I hope you know what occasionally means, right? Yeah, Just once in a while. Yeah, every so when, when the fancy takes. I hope we have all the ingredients. We do. Um, and then you're going to remove, remove it from the heat, set the pan in cold water. This is so complex. This is what I meant when I said last time that this was way over my head. Uh, over my head is a song by Fleetwood Mac. Yes. I mean, uh, what was I talking about? It's over my head. Okay, there, there we go. Uh, when you can hold your hand uh, in the bot at the bottom of the pan, then the syrup is cool enough. And then you stir in one and a half cups of sifted confectioner sugar, which is incidentally, the most uh, foodie thing we've used so far on the show. Um, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we stir in the frosting until it's thick enough to spread, and then the fun begins, because then we employ the, pro the, the usefulness of a spatula. No Proper problem. usefulness. Yes, I will set what the What I'm trying to say is that so, you mentioned hold it, so. Uh, yes, so. Let's get our pan. Where do we get a pan? Well, what, where might a pan be, Kenny? Hmm. I'm not sure. I've got well, one right see. here. Ah. You have Here's one? some. Not, no, right on my face. You know, like, like people call your pain, your face, your pain. Don't we need a bowl? I was trying to say that I want to hold your hand. I never want to sign by the beetle. Mm -hmm. Let's see. There are so many phrases people I say that can make me think of songs or muffins. 
We're a TV show. I know, it's amazing. Isn't it funny how some things make you think of other things? It's a gift. <laughs> well, something of that nature. Okay, so I need one cup of sugar. Right here. Here's an enormous bag. It is. Big and blue. Yeah, here's I the have cup. And white. One cup. First one cup of sugar. May I? Oh, I, I, I was hoping to say so. You should. Make sure it's level. Be on the level, Kenny. There's a few clumps in here. Oh, unclump it. Oh. Oops. Sowie. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's all right. It's all right. Getting all over the place. No, you're okay. Clean it up later. Remember what I said? What's the worst thing that'll happen? It'll have cake. Cake. That's right. Frosting, right? Okay. Have your cake and eat them, too. What else do you mean? Well, we have to let Marie... We have washed our hands. Where Marie Antoinette can eat cake. Right. But <laughs> she didn't say it for long. Okay. Well, unfortunately, and she was executed. Isn't that a, isn't that, you know, so often when it's you're a making, tragedy. when you're making frosting, the word execute comes out, isn't it? <laughs> Funny. Happens um, all the time. Can I have a, a quarter cup of cocoa, please? Yes. Right here. Yes. Hershey's cocoa. Of course. Is there any other? Perfect. There's Hershey's chocolate syrup. Yeah, but that's different. Well, wait, now what, can you make sure that's all level? Okay, that's lovely. Delicious. Okay, now we're going to stir in one quarter cup of butter, which I've got right now. Butter right fingers? No, I've got regular fingers, but we need a half a cup of milk. Here we are. How handy there. Okay. Mm. You know, I feel like June Child, what's in butter? She'd roll over in her grave if she saw she this. Probably oh. would. Okay, no. Stop. As long as we're using Good butter, job. she'd be happy. There you go. I'll get that in. And remember, you're the only one in the kitchen. So that goes in there as well? Yes, and, we, uh, and then also two tablespoons of light corn syrup. Where's that? Right here. Back here, hiding behind us, lurking in the background. Whereas my brother would be doing, it would be... And I have he's always tablespoons. Lurking. Right here. See, Dougie is always those. lurking. That's his, his specialty. When you least expect One. it, Dougie. Two? Yes. I think so, right, Yeah, Kyle? correct. Now we're going to mix it together a little and more into a boil. Never know. It'll be extra sweet. Here, just put it in here. We don't need that anymore. Perfect. Just throw this away. And I'm going to wash my hands again. Well, we need a proper spoon, let's say. Would you like a spatula? All right. No, no, we mustn't sit. Use a wooden spoon. <laughs> We should build up to the spatula. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all that goes in, Kyle? Yeah, that's so far. We then we bring it to a boil. Are you sure? And then there's more ingredients that go in after it goes to a boil. Shall I hand you that? That's what that's when you have the um, the powdered sugar, correct? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. The confectioner sugar, which it seems like a nightmare waiting to happen. You think? I think you should put that right on the stove, Kenny. I'm always, I'm very Irish. I'm always waiting for something horrible to happen. I have a problem with negativity at times. I know you do. But, and, and then I'm there's me. Enough. But I'm very pleasant right now doing this. I know. You are delightful. How is it happening? I Just wonder. delightful. Can I'm you enjoying always, myself. You're always pleasant. I haven't seen you unpleasant in months. I think if we put that on the stove, that's Let's what we're supposed to do. Let's there do. That'll be much easier. Because then it has to cool down before we can do our next step. So we won't have to definitely get that on the stove. Okay. Kyle's a master at this up stove Please. and oven operation. I'll stand here and slave away, stirring occasionally. Yeah, you don't mind slaving over a hot stove. No, I don't. I think it's quite becoming. <laughs> I try to use it to my advantage. She does. She's a fellow. Mr. Spot, right there. Mr. Spot. You see, he'll he'll oh, point out one here thing. too. No. <laughs> Barbara and I are on the Chamber of Commerce board together. Yeah. 
Yes. yes. Impressive. I think most impressive. You met Kenny at the change. Yes, of you met them at the business after hours. That's the place hours. I was thinking of. I couldn't remember. Yeah. I couldn't business remember after the hours place. that Chamber we went of to. Mm -hmm. Yep, the brick kiln lane, and they had all vegetables. I made all new friends. Which reminds me, we got another email from um, a wonderful lady in Pembroke who watches our show, and she has a wonderful garden, and she would like to know why you don't eat any vegetables. I just don't care for the, for them very much. I don't care for fruits either, you know. Hmm. I'm just a fussy, finicky, picky person. You are, and so pleasant though. So that's hard to believe. I know. You see, I don't think you know what you're missing. So now that's I'm going to turn this cake. How about doing that? And then we'll put it on this platter. The afterwards. acrobatics are going to good like luck. That. Do you think I can not drop it? Be careful. I She's shall. a woman of many powers. Many talents. Let's see. Ta-da! Now, that was amazing. Yeah, you've heard of pineapple upside down cake, I'm sure. There we go. We'll cover amazing. all of that with frosting. You won't see a thing. Except delicious. Yes, and we'll cut it into slices. I'm stirring occasionally. Now, you want me to make those lines on the top, too, right? You're just like Piece of cake. You're like how Piece of cake. cake. Oh, but I'm full. Yes, you're just like Holly go lightly when she whistles, you know. Oh, oh right. anyone can do it. And she, no, we need a... Okay, this is bubbling now. What do I do? Oh, that's good. I don't know good what it question. is. Good question. Kenny, quick, read. I think, Say, I think we need to take this off a bit. I think we do. You're supposed to stir the frosting until it's thick enough to spread. No, oh, no, I think you skipped something. If it's too thin, add a little more confection. Bring it to boiling. Boil for three minutes. Okay. Is that it? Is that so? I've got. I'm going to boil for three this minutes. Is the one we're on. Sorry. Boil for three minutes, and then remove the heat and set the pan in cold water. Mm. Okay. You add the, the confectionate the sugar and the. We add the confectionate sugar and the vanilla. Did you? Not yet. You need to. I was right. You do need to add those. Yes, yeah. Are you kidding? That would be wonderful if we did. I agree. Let me see. This is just for the pan and we don't have to ring the bowl. It's bubbling, bubbling. I just don't want it to bubble. Don't do anything. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I'm just stirring occasionally. Fire burn, cold and bubble. Ice? Yes, we want to put it in cold water. And that's when we add the confection. Okay. You see, suddenly I feel confident with Barbara here helping us through this because I could never do this on my own. I would have given up way, way early and just gone and bought some cake. Good thing she's here. Well, thanks for having me. You're we, very welcome. We love it. My pleasure. Okay, so this is going to be like an ice box. Yes. An ice box. Ah. Okay, that's three minutes, I suppose. Okay. Shall I do it over here so that you can show the world this bubbly, delicious Please. Okay, so here put we that go. In there. Can we get some more water, maybe? I don't know. Yes. You need more water? Yeah, I think so, so we can. Um, so I can check. I'm still occasionally stirring. Just like when I sleep, I stir occasionally. I don't want to over the edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Try that. Okay, here we go. Good job. I've All never right. seen anybody put frosting mm -hmm. in ice before. It's interesting, huh? It, now, see, look, see, look, see, look at the magic. See the magic happening? It's getting, it's getting, it's no more bubbles. Now we have to add the confectioner sugar. Well, you have to wait for the vanilla. I think until you can feel. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was something yeah, about right. See, this is where I get lost. Don't this get is where lost. I can't follow the recipe. You're lost and now you're found. Ah, oh, yes, there's a light. There's always hope. Yes, always can. Look at that, isn't that neat? It's very thin. <laughs> and, I, and I helped. It's going, it'll thicken though, Penny, when we put the sugar in. Mm-hmm. I and hope then, so. spatula time. You're obsessed with spatulas, aren't you? I'm obsessed with such a... You're right, Kenny. Such an accurate word. 
Well, you said you like them so much. I do. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not unthrilled by a wooden spoon, but... You're not crazy about it. But it's no spatula. <laughs> My grandmother used to crazy make over it. wooden spoons when I was a kid. Grandmothers make some great recipes, I'm sure. They do. What they was do. your favorite, Kyle, growing up? Uh, vodka and tonic. <laughs> hey, Kenny, what was your favorite growing up? Chocolate chip cookies. Real. Did your grandma make good chocolate? See, my grandfather was a baker. Am I? So, my grandmother didn't really bake much. So we would just drink and watch. I don't even remember my grandmother making things, you know. I don't remember. Yeah, my grandma would, would make day-to-day -day cookies. But when it came to making cookies and cakes and all that stuff, it was all about my grandfather. Okay. Yeah, some cakes, too. How are you doing over there? Yeah, I, well, I'm standing. Everything's going okay. You're doing yeah, so far. Nothing has Let's exploded. Let's feel the bottom of the pants. Oh, oh. I'll let you do it. Look at those nails. It's cool to the touch. Oh, what a dream. Okay, um, so shall we do the... On a Confectionate sugar and the vanilla. I love it. Kenny, okay, would you like to lick the spoon? All right. Let's count uh, I need the spoon, don't we? No. Well, we well, know the, the spatula is coming up. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And here it is. So we have the confectioner's sugar, and there's something else. Vanilla, maybe. Maybe. It's always the. That's the one. You know, it's it vanilla. is a teaspoon of vanilla. Poor vanilla. We and always one and a half cups of sifted confectioner's sugar. Okay, I'll handle the vanilla. You handle the confectioner's sugar. Thanks so much. All we're gonna do is work together. <laughs> yes, and Kenny will watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, my eyes set on this. Oh, look at I found beaters, so we did have a mixer somewhere. Oh my goodness! If hindsight were foresight. Holy cow! Look what you learned. On the other hand, you have different fingers. Yeah, just take your time. Don't yeah. need to rush. I've thrown the vanilla. Don't in. rush. No the rush is the name of the band. It yes. is. Most things now are. that we're talking about that. <laughs> right, I okay. told you phrases can make me think. The words can it make me think. It certainly does. Music. You did tell me that. Me. You can take a ride on the Segway with Kenny. This is interesting. I don't think I've, I've ever been with Subway in a long before. time. One moment. I'm going yeah, to read Subway is a. Submarine Sandwich Company. I need three of those. You need three I of like those. Uh, the meatball mariana sauce and I like the steak and cheese sub. I wish there was a chicken parmesan sub, you know. No, it's not They fair. do. They do have them. I haven't seen any. Really? I can't believe that. I'm not a sub person, but I think really? that they have yeah, them. Yeah, I, I can see that. Not, you're not being a sub person. I can see steak and cheese used to be my favorite with mushrooms. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen any chicken parmesan. I think I have. Did you ever check, Demetrius? Oh, plug. No. <laughs> <laughs> How about Christina's? I'm talking need, about one at Subway. I need two, two more. more of those. You got it. Subway eat fresh. Oh, Subway eat fresh. That's their catchphrase, their lingo. Their catchphrase, their motto. Yes, you did. Their this jingle. Is like. Oh, this is nice. Kenny, you're going to be very happy. Is it getting like to be like? See, Kenny, how Is it's it getting decadent? Out? Do you see how it's thickening? Not bad. I knew that was going to happen to me. You know, I just woke up this morning knowing I was going to be covered in confectioner sugar at some point in time today. Well, One of those really? days. People might think it's talcum powder. They might. They might <laughs> or think flour. It's or a lot of other things. Or flour. Goodness. But if they yeah. knew me, they would go this with probably really, confectioner. I don't think sugar. I've ever done anything like this before. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? it certainly is. Well, it's the first time for everything. I wouldn't trade this experience for anything. In the world. This will go on your resume. Oh, for anything well, else certainly. in the world. Trade this for anything else in the world. For anything else in the world. Anything the world has to offer. Look at this. this we are like learning as we go. Yeah. Oh, and, and I believe Barbara is tapping out help me in Morse code. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh -huh. Let's put more in. One more. Let's finish it off. I'm working you on it. This just right. I think it will be. I, I think, think you're going to be smiling. I think this frosting is going to be flawless. How much do we need? A lot. One more. Well, like three cups. 
We want it to be as sweet as I am, Kenny. That almost, we don't have enough confectioners. Sure. I don't yeah. think so. Right. So normally, you can get bigger sifters. Yes, you could. But, but that wouldn't would have this much fun. You, yes, you would not be able to enjoy this much conversation. Or Kenny wouldn't be able to enjoy this much conversation. I think we're all enjoying it. Here we are. Well, I speak for myself, at least. Yeah, I am. So there. Pshaw. Pshaw. There you go. And right back at you. There you go. This is going to be nice. I'll say it is. You must be exhausted. I am. Three cups later. Practically poop. It was really a cup and a half. I don't mean to burst Tom tuck it out. <laughs> all the same. All the same. <laughs> well, I'm... Fatigue. I'm going to stick my Here we go. Get right ready. Ta-da. That, that won't be necessary. Okay. I'm going to relieve you of these If you can things. give a little stir here, Kenny. Good. Oh, look at him go. Very well. Scrape those edges. Yes. I'll, I'll do my the best. Edge, around the edge of the I'll box. do my best. Look at that. We're making our own frosting. You look at it. Just bought this in a bag somewhere. I know. Some people do that. Or in a jar, you know, in a container, you know. Do show. I love a good trick. Wax paper. Oh, it's parchment, but very similar. One man's wax paper is another man's parchment. Improvise. Okay, so what we're going to do is put this under the edges. So when we frost it, after we frost it, we take it out and it will be clean as a whistle. Oh, what? Now that is something you wouldn't find in the Bible. I couldn't agree more. Well done, Barbara. Well, my little contribution. But baking Barbara. Oops, we lost an edge, but we'll just put that on the frosting. And no one will be any the wiser. No one will know the difference. You want me here to take over, Kenny, and you can observe Barbara's tricking... Um, Tricking. Oh, you know what I mean, her. I'm a trickster. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I think he said something complimentary, which came out. Well, yes, it didn't sound like it was, but it turned out that way. So often scissors. that's the case. Ah, there we go. So Not I'll bad. stick this on this end. This is gorgeous. Well, I can stick this on that end, right? Yes, you can. Just lift that little edge up. Gently, can you gently? Perfecto. And Magnifique. Excellent. So now when we frost it, we don't have to worry about underneath. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Bravo. Is that not gorgeous? Well done. Straighten those mm. edges. Oh, I could. Smooth them out. Mm. Those edges get everything in there. Yes, I know, right? We don't waste hot one on Lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Now, I'm going to give the spatula over directly to Barbara. To me? Yes, because you have exposed, you have exposed uh, expertise in the frosting area. Really? So. You think so? Well, Not really. But we'll make believe. And I'm going to sit here beguiled. How about we make believe? Oh my goodness. What do you think, Kenneth? Not bad. That looks... Not bad. That's what my father used to say. My mother was an excellent cook. She doesn't cook any longer, and she would cook these unbelievable meals. And he would say, hmm. she'd say, how is it, sweetheart? And he'd say, hmm, not bad. Oh. So that she'd make it again and try again. And then he'd keep getting these exquisite meals. Well, save this frosting for the other cake. Yes, I think we have enough for both. You can make more. Mm. Oh. oh, says Kyle. Oh, this looks absolutely sinful. Yeah. yeah, cover up it right here. Okay. You want to try some? You want yeah, to try why why don't it? you put some on? Here. Here's an extra Go spatula. Ahead. I can't here. be trusted. Don't put it on. Because we have to get all the edges. I didn't know if you wanted to go down the edge. I would. We could let it drizzle. Yeah, perfect. Oh, goodness. Perfect. I gained 15 pounds just looking at that thing. Besides two, I messed up. <laughs> That's one. Well done, don't Kenny. Be, oops, don't be, um, use it sparingly. Use what you want. You want yeah, it to the cake be is about excess, right? 
This is not I have salad. another one ready for you, Ken. There you go. It's like a doctor and a you nurse. Can, you have like backup, backup spatulas. You can just call me Dr. Del Monte. Dr. Del Monte. <laughs> that was on the tip of my tongue. Oh my goodness. All right, what do you think? Fudge. Well done. Fudge. Should we do the edges Scalpel. too? Scalpel. All right. Side. <laughs> like this? Yes. Excellent. Don't roughhouse with oh, it. Gonna, yeah, be gentle. Yeah, she could. Oh, you'll rip off the corner like I did. Yeah, you don't want that. God knows, that was a mistake. God only knows. Mm -hmm. Well, Dr. Del Monte, you're doing an amazing job. Excellent. It's like getting ready for surgery. Right? Mm -hmm. You wash your hands and you have to walk around like this. I can't see that other side right now. You know what you need? More gauze. <laughs> sutures. Sutures. Yes, put more sutures. In more gauze. sutures, for sure. A little more gauze. Side and look at it. And you can see it. Oh, you know what? Let's take this away so Art can get a good get a shot. better look at it. That drizzling deliciousness. Smooth and creamy. That is a chocolate delight. I agree. Then what we do then? Do we, do we have to let it sit, don't we? No. Now that's impossible. Yeah, I was going to say. You can do anything you want with it when we're done. Yeah, yeah positively out of the question okay, letting right? it sit like that. Positively out of the question. So, yeah, so yeah, I can see. Now, that one of the happen. things that you liked, Kenny. Oops, that's that cold. Liked is what? Life is like a chocolate cake. Actually, it's the quote from... Forrest Gump. Yeah. Life is like a box of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we know what we're going to get because we made this good. Okay. So now, let me just put a little over here. So now, if you want those lines. Oh, yes, yes, we forgot about that part. Okay. If you want the lines, watch, watch this. this. So we're going to go like this. Oh, this is a little thick. I think I'd like a knife instead. Okay. I will get you one. No, it's better than you think. Dr. Del Monte, I think you've been usurped by Dr. Case. <laughs> Scalpel. Let's see if this will work. <laughs> cross your fingers and toes. Okay. I always cross my fingers when I'm waiting to find out what the prize is on Wheel of Fortune in the bonus room. Mm. Usually money or a car. Did you win any of them? What would you do with a money arc? Well, I played the computer game version of Wheel of Forge and also with Jeopardy, too. And what did you win? I won thousands of dollars. I would want to win a ceramic dog. Oh, my Lord. I don't think Patrick would like that. Well, you might. Who's Patrick? My cat. Oh. You know Patrick. You've met Patrick. Oh, that Patrick. I was thinking of someone As else. if there's any Okay, other. now we go the other I direction. I forgot about your cat. Look at, see the little lines that happen? That's amazing. Look at that, it's, it's like magic. Yeah, like fairy magic or elfin magic. All without a wand. How does she do it? This is the wand. This is the wand? I believe so. Pretty You're simple. the wand to watch. Just call me Wanda. Mm. <laughs> That's the name of one of the two fairy odd parents. Cosmo and Wanda are Timmy Turner's fairy god fairy godparents. I just wanted a parent named Cosmo. That'd be such a great name for a parent. What do you think, Kyle? I think that's well, Cosmo's stupid. pretty stupid. Okay, you ready? Watch oh. this. Oh, I need oh. something to put this on. Here, do, me, 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 me. Has to be filmed. Oh, look at that gorgeous thing. Impressive. Hold that up, oh, please. Great, Matt. You did Matt. a great job. Look at that. It's like, Barbara, come this way, so you can we can all get in on the deliciousness. It looks like like um like an alligator suitcase. <laughs> You're right. If it were, I'd be taking it with me. I know. It's like a coach bag. <laughs> 
Well, if it was Louie, it would definitely be mine. Yes. You did a great job. You did a great job. I Excellent. think it's spectacular. So, you did. we both did. That is Cocoa Fudge Cream Cake um, uh, on Cooking with Kenny and Kyle and with our delightful guest, Barbara Case, who has just been a joy to have in the kitchen. And we're going to um, be posting the recipe on our website, um, uh, which you can go to, um, or our Facebook page, uh, Cooking with Kenny and Kyle, or um, also on Pembroke Town News' as well, website as well. Okay. Thank okay. you so much for having me. Thank you, so and thank fun. you so much for the aprons. We, we really... I love them. We really do appreciate Photo ops them. after. I know, right? Great. You're, wait, Barbara, come with us. Yearbook photo.